Welcome to Sam Technology Professionals and in this tutorial we're gonna be able to 4 in and 4 out preamplifier that means 4 inputs and 4 outputs uh, so here are the 6.5 mm jacks uh, for the audio input and 4 will be used for the input and 4 will be used for the output and then these jacks are uh, long time working than the others and behind that you can see the DC jack what we'll use to uh, power this preamplifier and these LEDs four of them will be used for the peak indication and one will be used for the power and and this is the toggle switch we'll use to turn this preamp on and off and this, these are the uh, xenodiodes and these are the transistors and these are the potentiometers uh, uh, what we will use to set the gain of each channel and these are the variables and these are the resistors of 1k 100k and 4.7k and these are the capacitors or what we will use for the DC blocking and uh, at the input and the output so link is in the description about all of this stuff so this is the metal housing uh, it was a USB mp3 player and I just made some additional hole as were required you can see my marker lines on it and I think it looks cool and uh, this is the time when I added all of the parts and uh, you can see the switch and LEDs and this is a piece of a PCB I marked on it and uh, drilled a hole for the input jacks as there was a hole of MP3 player on that So all of the parts are soldered and you see the variable I have just adjusted them that at which level I uh, need the peak LED indication and uh, uh, this uh, time I'm testing it and I just connected on the first input and uh, I'm gonna listen the audio and I will check my adjustment turn the toggle switch on and this is the power light I was talking about and this is a temporary solution of the dynamic microphone call I just connected this and because I just wanted to test the peak so I'll be clicking with uh, my finger uh, to check uh, the peak LED if peak LED is uh, uh, li it lights up and then it means the, and the adjustment is okay and that must be on the full gain so let's test it and these are not actually lighting and this is the light from the back side because the case is not closed so I just turn it on and this first knob is for the first channel and let's test it the speaker is just connected and I will touch it with my finger to check if the peak light oh that works yes that works
is connected to another channel. All the adjustment needs to be perfect. This second node is for the second channel. I just set the whole game. Oh, it is too sensitive right now that I have to just hold it and be light is just telling, come on, turn down the volume. And yes, it is all to work. So it means that all of the other channels will work. And uh, we have to test all of the channel individually. And you can adjust this peaking at any level. Uh, the basic purpose of this peak is to just know uh, that your audio exceeds to the maximum level which can create distortion in your signal so this is a plus point of having such kind of section you can see that uh, peak section is totally separate where, where you see the uh, variables and uh, the preamp section is uh, totally separate and thank you so much for watching I hope you guys gonna love this project and you're gonna build this project so have a wonderful project and do like subscribe and comment and let the video coming